and I am a Sunday School teacher at Saints Raphael, Nicholas and Irene Church. I am so happy that you are watching this video to hear the story I'm about to share with you. You can find this story in the Bible. If you have a children's Bible at home, this story is called the Tower of Babel. Before I tell you the story, I would like to ask you some questions to think about. Have you ever won a race, perhaps at your school athletics, for those of you who are in school already? Or maybe you were the best worker in class, or you had the best idea, or you got the best marks in school. Perhaps you may even have won an award. How did you feel? Did you go around telling everyone what you achieved, how good you were? Or did you remember to thank God for giving you the talents to be able to achieve those things. Today's story is about how the people thought they did not need God's help to achieve great things. Many years ago, Noah obeyed God and built an ark to save himself and his family from a very big flood. God promised to send this flood that would kill all the people. God did this because the people did not listen to him and did a lot of bad things. When the flood was over, Noah and his family came out of the ark and thanked God. Then they started their own families and had children and built cities. In the beginning, just like Noah, people remembered God. They prayed to him, they asked him for help, and they thanked him for all the wonderful things he gave them. But as time passed, the people grew in their skills and things changed, so they started to sin again. They started to do the wrong thing. This sin led them astray and they forgot about God and how good and loving He was. They let themselves move away from God and His will. People began to think that they knew everything and they could do anything and did not need God. One day, they thought about building a large tower so tall that it could reach the sky. Do you know what they wanted to do? They wanted to show God that they were more powerful than Him and that they did not need Him. They thought they could do everything without His help. became sad because even though he gave them so many beautiful things, they were so ungrateful. God decided to confuse their language so they would not understand each other and would not be able to build their tower. When one person would ask for a brick, another person would give him sand. When a person would ask for water to make mud, the other person gave him rocks. People became so confused with each other they were forced to stop building their tower.
place where they were building the tower was called Babel, and that is the name they gave the tower. The Tower of Babel, the building they couldn't finish. The Tower of Babel would have been a grand building, but it was never finished because the people did not ask for God's help. Boys and girls, God punished the people of Babel to show them that they couldn't live without him because he is all powerful. He is the creator of the whole world. Therefore, everyone, including us, need to be humble and respect God who loves us very much and to know that when we ask him for something out of love, he will give it to us and we should be grateful for it. So boys and girls, we need to remember not to be proud but humble. That God is happy when we ask him for his help and we say thank you.